Anyway, uh, Leahy from Vermont. Why don't you uh, people in Vermont secede? You got a socialist and you got a communist. Why don't you people from Vermont secede? Don't worry, we'll change the flags. Get out. Now, where was I? This is what this moron had to say about the Supreme Court decision upholding free speech. Cut nine, go. And as Justice Stevens' dissent makes clear, the narrow majority of the justices, including Justice Alito... Stop, stop, rewind it. Is he slurring his speech? I have to ask the question. I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm saying, listen carefully. Is he slurring his speech? Cut nine, go. And as Justice Stevens' dissent makes clear, the narrow majority of the justices... Stop. Including ju- he is slurring his speech. Isn't he, Mr. Producer? Listen to this. Justice Alito substituted their own preferences for those... All right, stop. Hold on a second. Is this guy sober on the Senate floor? What's going on with it? We had this, this Bacchus on there slobbering through a speech. Rewind it. Let's take it from the beginning. I won't interrupt. 40 seconds. Uh, happy hour on the Senate floor. Go. And as Justice Stevens' dissent makes clear, the narrow majority of the justices, including Justice Alito, substituted their own preferences for those of the duly elected <laughs> Congress, despite 100 years of their own Supreme Court precedents. This is the most partisan decision. All right, stop. To- now, you know I'm right, Mr. Producer. You know I'm right. Now you hear it? It's word after word, is it not? Now, this is entertaining. Let's start from the beginning. This is Patrick Leahy, who does not, in my humble opinion, I'm not accusing him, sounds sober to me. Does he to you? You Vermonters out there, does he sound it to you? Uh, cut nine, go. And as Justice Stevens' dissent makes clear... The narrow majority of the justices, including Justice Alito, substituted their own preferences for those of the duly elected Congress, despite 100 years of their own Supreme Court precedents. This is the most partisan decision since Bush versus Gore. That decision by the activist conservative bloc in the Supreme Court intervened in a presidential election. This decision is broader and more damaging in that they have now decided to intervene in all elections. I wake up the guys at Hot Air and uh, Free Republic and these other places and let them know we have an audio for them. An audio via our friends at uh, Real Clear Politics and Real, all the rest of you out there. Uh, maybe our brother uh, Matt Drudge, Lucy Ann. I think we have a senator with wobbly legs. I think we have a senator with uh, beer breath. I could be wrong. I'll leave it to you to decide. Honestly, he sounds drunk to me, doesn't he? But don't worry, he wants to run the country with the other drunks.